you. Thank you on this Thursday for allowing me to share a thought that I pray will encourage you, that will bless you, that will help you to understand just how great God is on this Thanksgiving day. How good he is to you as an individual, how good he is to your family, how great he's been to our great nation. Don't you love America? I do. I've had the distinct privilege to travel in countries that don't even believe in God. I've had the privilege to travel in places around the world that are very prosperous and some that are not. America has something to be thankful for. We have people that we need to be thankful for. Over the past couple of years, there seems, seems to be an invasion of thought. An invasion that is trying to get us to discredit, dishonor the women, men and women that first set foot on this soil that later became America. The United States united the great word in that, states of America. They tried to dishonor the ones that literally shed their blood for the freedom that you and I have right now, but not me. I thank God for my history. I thank God for the history of our nation. You say, are you proud of everything that has come down in this nation? No, no, not at all. But you know what? It's not the negative that we need to major on. It's the positive, the benefit. That's not denying the error. That's not denying what went wrong. Just like in my own life, I cannot tell you that I have lived nor am I living a perfect life. But what I can tell you is that because of what Jesus did for me, I can continue to pursue that. I continue, can continue to to live a life that is pleasing to God doesn't mean I'm going to not make a mistake, but it does mean that I'm going to try to do my best and then be thankful for the privilege of having a God along beside me. So I thank God for America. I thank God for our past, our present, and the greatness of our future. Because you know what? I don't depend on men to get us there. I depend on God. And I'm believing God will open the hearts of men to pursue a godly direction. All right. So on this Thanksgiving day, I say, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Let me give you a thought. Validation of our relationship with Jesus is more than words. It's our actions. I give you, I give you a new commandment that you should love one another. Just as I have loved you, so you too should love one another. By this shall all men know that you are my disciples. If you love one another, if you keep on showing love among yourselves. What a dynamic couple of verses. The greatest commandment is to love one another. As a matter of fact, Jesus was posed a question, how can I inherit the kingdom of God? And he said, or they asked what the greatest commandments was. And he said that you love the Lord your God with all of your heart. And then he said, the second one is, is, is that you love your neighbor as you love yourself. So what God is doing is saying, you need to understand the power of love. Can I say that again? You need to understand the power of love, loving one another. Okay, do not ever feel like you've got to destroy one to help you to get to where you want to go. That's one of my pet peeves in politics is that men and women feel like they must degrade someone else to make themselves look better. Jesus never did that. He never did. And he is the prime example of how man should live today. Loving people, even those that would despitefully use him. Do you know what he said? Some of the last words hanging on a cross that he did not deserve to be on. He said, Father, forgive them. They don't know what they're doing. 
Now, who was there? I'll tell you who was there. Not only the Roman soldiers, religious people were standing out looking in to all the pain that he suffered. They put him there. Men that should have known better put him there. But yet the son of the living God said, forgive him, Father, forgive him. Now, that's love. Love in the third degree. That's what he was guilty of, love in the third degree. So ponder on that. Think on that. Got to go. Have a blessed rest of the day. Be thankful for the God you serve and the family he's given you. Go in grace.